They'll give you examples of people who did them right and did them wrong, and then compare the two and go back to the original story, which by that time you've forgotten the entire train of thought. <laughs> every moment of every day for this guy is a good time. That's what Hemi Fred stands for. Amen. He's not Amen. just a good time, he appreciates the good time and will take a non-good time and spend all day making it a good time. It's got to be a good time, because otherwise, why else would Hemi Fred have shown up in the first place? <laughs> and if you didn't make it a good time, then he's going to fix things the way they should be, because it's your fault, and show you what a good time is. He loves his drag racing family. He has friends all over the world. He's one of the biggest nuisances on the internet. <laughs> People around People who have never even learned the first word of the English language have, in their own language, learned the phrase, Who is Emmy Fred? <laughs> but in fact, he is still one of our greatest ambassadors. And quite honestly, Emmy Fred has taken the electronic age, which for the vast majority of us in this room is, is a recent occurrence, and turned it into a way to promote drag racing, a way to keep Ronnie Sox's memory alive, a way to share knowledge that he has learned on why your 340 small block is not oiling the number three main bearing. Uh, he's an amazing individual. He really does care about every single thing that he will talk you into the ground about his carry. And quite honestly, that's why we love the guy. He never becomes really overbearing. He just becomes a longer and longer story. <laughs> and we always hang around to hear the end because they're always worth hearing. Ladies and gentlemen, if there was ever a spirit that deserves to be recognized, it's the spirit of Hemi Fred Rustad. <laughs>